of young people are deciding what they'll be doing after high school. And if that includes furthering their education, the college admissions process, as we know, can be very intimidating. And parents of those students, they feel the stress too. I think that because so much has changed, I think it's just going to be a huge adjustment for everybody. Tanisha Cordell with us this morning on a new program, Tanisha, geared for parents and the college process. That could really be a great resource. Absolutely. An amazing resource. One I wish, you know, many of us, I'm sure, wish we had um, back when we were going through this process. But uh, I mean, no matter what these teens decide, a lot of them have their parents working with them, helping them step by step to get through that process. And that's where Destination College comes in. Rachel Feinlieb is a mom of two living in Shaker Heights, her youngest, a junior in high school, getting ready for college. I went through this process a year ago with my older son. But because of the pandemic, so much has changed and there's a lot to learn. So she's turning to the Your Teen Media team and their new webinar, Destination College, for help. We have this beautiful thing going on right now where parents are more connected with their kids than any other generation. And they're, it's so beautiful. Every Tuesday night for eight weeks, panelists will cover all things college, from finding a school, financial aid, testing, and even gap years. Having someone who um, knows uh, all the ins and outs of how the process works really helps. Nancy Dunn, an advisor at College Now Greater Cleveland, is one of the panelists. She says a lot of her students and their families struggle grasping next steps after high school. I want to empower my students to give them um, that knowledge that they can take control of this. It's why advice like just not writing your kid's college admissions essay is so important. Not knowing where love and support comes in and where over is too much is a really hard line for all of us. We don't know where that line is. And in fact, that line is going to be different for each family. And why moms like Rachel are eager to learn more. It's just a, a great resource and I feel fortunate that, you know, it's right here available. I hope that it helps both my son and me figure out where, how do we approach this. Now, this eight week series starts tomorrow, so you, there's still plenty of time to register. And even if you can't make the series at all, you'll still be able to access the panels and all those great discussions online. Keep an eye out on News 5 uh, app. We'll have a link posted with more information uh, where you can access all of that as well. Again, Katie, I mean, again, great resource. I think it's going to be great for, for these parents and students as well.